The way we use land is the largest direct driver of terrestrial biodiversity loss. When we destroy forests and other natural ecosystems to expand agriculture and build cities, biodiversity suffers. And as nature declines, so do the essential benefits it provides to people. Global Biodiversity Outlook 5 lists the land and forest transition as one of eight key transformations needed to live in harmony with nature. This transition has several components. First, we must adopt integrated approaches to land use and land use change. This means embracing policies that improve the productivity and sustainability of land and limit deforestation. We must also conserve biodiversity by protecting the most intact and biodiverse areas, restore damaged ecosystems through efforts like reforestation, and manage landscapes in ways that balance conservation and sustainable use. None of this can be achieved without the full involvement of Indigenous peoples and local communities. Around the world, we can see progress towards the land and forest transition. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization has identified 22 countries where food security has improved without the loss of forest cover since 1990. That includes 12 nations where forest cover actually increased by more than 10%. If we take inspiration from these examples and adopt policies to protect and restore our lands, we can reverse the devastating effects of biodiversity loss. To learn more, visit cbd.int/gbo5.